Hello everyone, welcome to another unboxing. It's another AEG mm. canister vacuum today. Now the only reason you're seeing me unbox this on my channel is the fact I got it for what I thought was a reasonable price. I got this from the shopping channel Ideal World from their website. I've been looking at it for a while and it was full price. It was $299.99. Ridiculous. Then it's, it's been up and down in price over the uh, months. It went, the least I saw it for was $149.99. So it was, they were saying it's half price. So I nearly got it then and then didn't. Then it went back up to $299.99. So obviously not getting it. Then it went back down to $159.99. So £10 more than the lowest price. And I thought, mm, I might, but I decided against it. Then it went up again to $299.99. But then again, I think they had it for two nine nine ninety nine, and then had a code with 40% off. But that was still more than the lowest price it's been, and I won't pay any more than I've seen it. I wouldn't have paid more than 150 Anyway, so I, I checked the website again, and it had been again reduced to one five nine ninety nine. But, and it must have been quite a limited time this was on offer, it had another discount code of 40% off the marked price if you put a code in. So basically I got this for 95 99 I think it was, plus postage. So under £100 from 300 So, ooh, extra bags. I wondered why it looked like, now that's, <laughs> what if they put those in as an additional thing? Because the bags are quite pricey for, for these machines, but that's unusual. I think, yes, because I thought of oh, the box has been opened. So perhaps these were just an added bundle that I didn't see. There's one, two, three, four, there's eight, nine spare bags, plus one fitted, I expect. Well, that's, that's a good bonus, because they're not cheap, the bags, um, really, for the AEG vacuums. So we've got a uh, reasonable length hose. Now this, I was tempted by this. I think they're made in Hungary, these AEGs. They're not made in China. I have done a couple of AEGs, uh, well, two or three. Um, the last one I did was the Oco Green version, the quiet one. Now this is supposed to be even quieter. And if it is as quiet as they claim, I think this will be my quietest modern vacuum. I've probably got some older vacuums that are quieter, but you could hardly hear it going in the demonstration. This one actually comes also with a turbo head. This does make a noise. In fact, it was demonstrated on the channel. The, the lady was vacuuming the carpets and floors. You couldn't, hear, you couldn't hear anything above the noise of the people talking. It was that quiet. But then of course, when she clicked this in, um, it did add to the noise level. So I quite like the design of this. This is your turbo head, mainly for your upholstery and pet bedding. It's a bit small to use on your carpets. And then we've got your telescopic uh, extension wand. Same as the other AEG I've got. Well, I'll say that, I've got, I've got other AEGs, but um, I do have one more that's got this. That's nice, nice smooth, seems, seems well made, it's very light. Then we have got the three-in-one tool, sort of the modern version of the uh, butterfly tool that uh, you've got on Electrolux cleaners. They seem to be real bristles on the dusting brush part. Then you can use it this way. You put the handle in this way. Where is the handle? The handle goes in to there, so that's how you'd use it for dusting. And then you can use it as a crevice tool by putting the handle in that way. It's not, not much of a crevice tool, but that's what it's meant for. And then you can open out the wings of the crevice tool and you have a nozzle for your upholstery and curtains. And that, I'm not sure if it does fit on board. I think, ah, yes, it. well, not on, not inside the machine like the other AEG I've got. That does have, um, this tool fits inside under the flap. Looks like it fits on this tool holder that will probably go on the hose or the wand. So the only other tool, which I'm hoping is in the box, is I can't see it, is the main carpet and floor nozzle. Oh, I'm not going to be very happy if it's not in here. Is that another dust bag? Yes, there's yet another dust bag. 
so it says V VX8 X silence. Now it should be brown, uh, not brown, blue. It looks very smart in the white that's illustrated on the box. I would be quite happy if it was white, but I'm expecting a blue model. So uh, yeah, I've got the various instructions in uh, many different languages and a two year guarantee if you activate it. Oh no, that's the nozzle there. Oh no, it looks, looks okay. Right, actually there's two further nozzles. So I think £96 plus postage, I think this is pretty good value. But as I said, you'll have to check current availability from Ideal World. They might still have these, but um, at the time of making this video, they do still have stocks, but at two nine nine ninety nine. But it's worth checking back every day, I would, if you really want one of these. Um, because for under 100, I think it's a pretty good buy, even though I've not used it. So I've got uh, your hard, dedicated hard floor brush there. It's got the oval fitting, so it's not compatible really with your standard tools. It's that funny shaped oval fitting that AEG and Electrolux use. Here's the main nozzle. That looks just like the main nozzle on my Oco green version. And again, the nozzle's been engineered to be quiet so you don't get the noise, the suction rush of air noise when the nozzle's flat against the surface. It keeps it all quiet, keeps all the noise contained. It's a nice quality nozzle. You've got a little bit of a metal strip either side of the wide suction inlet. And of course you've got your litter pickers either side of the area where you've got the most suction. Two wheels, a little bit, bit of a, a rubber tire or a plasticky tire on them to add a bit of grip on your hard floors and to protect your floors. And you've got your pedal. So you want the brushes down. So brushes come down for your hard floor. One at the front and one at the back, nothing at the side. And it's got, of course, your oval fitting and you've got your release button as well. So that's all the accessories. So it is blue. I'd say it would have been nice in white. It is, it's a fair weight. I mean, it's not ultra heavy, but it's not what I call a light machine. And that's all. So it's, um, it's, it's got a very slight fleck in the um, plastic. Oh, that comes up. Right. Let's take that off. Right, that's the energy. Yes, it looks nice. I like these handles. That's good. It is, yeah, it is a hef hefty vacuum, I have to say. But that is a very nice handle. I do like cylinders that have a handle here because it's at the point of balance and it does make it a little bit easier if you're carrying this machine around, if you're going up the stairs with it. So I do like that. Here's the um, energy label. Hmm, I thought this was 52 decibels, it says 58, so perhaps I've misheard. 58 decibels though for vacuum is pretty quiet when the current EU regulations say they can't be any louder than 80, that's the maximum. And 80 decibels is quite loud but it isn't bad, my Dyson light ball is 80 decibels and that's quite a pleasant sounding vacuum. But this one goes way below that at 58 decibels. So it gets an A rating for dust pickup from a hard floor, a C rating for dust pickup from carpet, an A rating for dust emissions, and an A rating for energy, using approximately 25.5 kilowatt hours per annum. The model of this is VX82BMP. And we've just got the energy label there again, which has just repeated what I've said on the swing ticket. So, yes, I do like the look of this. I think it does feel a solid vacuum. So they're not Chinese made. I think they're made in Hungary. We'll probably find out. What's that on there? I don't know why they've bothered doing that. I don't know if we can see, but they've put a little design. It's a bit hard to tell on the camera. They look, this is sort of a flower design sort of etched into the underside of the handle there where you grip it. I think it's... Uh, Pretty good, yeah, as I say, it's heavy. Um, silent air technology, so I've got a big filter on the back here. 
I'm assuming everything will be washable. Um, filter at the back. Um, behind that, there's another sort of, a, it's more the insulation, I think. That doesn't seem to come out. So it's all nicely sealed. The seal obviously keeps the dust in, but it also keeps the noise level down. And there's another diffuser, muffler, filter, and another one after that as well. So I think with this machine, with all this filtration and diffusers, it's important to make sure you keep the, um, the bag checked. Don't let it block up. It'll probably have a thermal cutout if it overheats anyway. So that's that. Underneath the cleaner, got a nice caster. That's your slot for storing it. You'll be able to slot the main nozzles into there, like that. Two big rear wheels. Let's have a quick look at the rating plate. So I've already told you the model code is uh, another number, PNC 90094035 serial 72402213. So it's a 650 watt motor, so it's under the 900 watt EU limit. It just says made in EU, which I think is Hungary for these. There is a AEG Electrolux factory in Hungary. So here's the cleaner. It looks very smart in this metallic blue with the silver highlights. Um, says again, silent air technology around the hose inlet. And underneath we've got the bag. And again, sound shield. They're making a real big deal that this is a quiet vacuum. Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? So that holds the bag. Tiny, tiny bags. I'm glad I've got lots of bags. Well, they're not that small, but, you know. They're okay. And again, it says sound shield filter on here. And that, that is just a foam block filter. So I think the weight of this is probably, it's heavier because of all this extra stuff they put in to make it quiet. I don't know why, you know, this, I think it should be the next thing with vacuum technology or you know the current technology everyone's going for is cordless and back in the day it used to be filtration or you know power the higher the wattage the better that's what manufacturers used to say but i i think now it, people manufacturers should be concentrating on quieter machines i know the eu are forcing them to make quieter but they need to go beyond the 80 decibel because 80 decibels is still a fair noise. Two big pedals on off and your cord rewind. Where is the cord? That's here, tucked away. Let's check that works okay. Yeah, that's fine. And here on the back you've got a minus and a plus button to control the motor speed and also it says filter and s bag i'm assuming then below this panel there will be a light that will illuminate um, when you need to change the bag or check the filter i've plugged the agvx 8 x silence vacuum in to the mains and you can see it's very light and reflective but a zero has appeared in the middle of the display so i don't know whether i have to press the plus or minus to start or press the mains button. We'll try the mains button first. So that turns it on and for some reason it's gone into setting three. I don't think that's the max setting. Let's see what happens if I do press the plus or minus button. No. So you do have to turn the machine on and then adjust the power. So that's on setting one. I've got the camera pretty close, within two feet of the machine, the microphone, should I say. I wonder what happens if I block the end. Simply a light might come on, not yet. So that's minimum. That's setting two. Setting three. Setting four. Setting five, I'm not sure if that's maximum. 
That is maximum. Wow, that is quiet. I'm just going to give the nozzle a quick push over the carpet, see how difficult it is. Often on low energy vacuums, they can be quite difficult to push. I'm not sure if it's going to start on setting five. I switched the machine off on setting five, so it might start up on the setting I stopped it at. But I think once it's unplugged, when you start it again, I think the default setting will be three. Right, so it has ramped up. Believe it or not, it's on full. It is certainly the quietest modern vacuum I've used. And it is sticking to the carpet. Oh, it's not too bad, I have to say. It is on max. And it is taking some effort. And the nozzle is staying flat to the floor. But it is not terribly difficult to push. It depends on your carpet, of course. If you've got um, a higher pile or a flusher carpet than this one, you might find it more difficult. But of course, you can adjust the suction. Now, you can adjust the suction, of course, using your foot. So, setting three. Obviously, it's easier to push, but you might have a reduced pickup. But you can also, of course, adjust the suction power here by opening the vent. So you can hear the noise of the suction above the sound of the motor. So it's pretty, pretty incredibly quiet. Now, whether it's a very good vacuum, my full demo will have to see. But if you need a very, very quiet vacuum cleaner, if you live in a flat, if you work shifts and you vacuum, you know, in the middle of the night, or you vacuum at times when most people are sleeping, you could certainly get away with using this machine. I mean, it will go even quieter, of course. For a quick whip round on setting one, well, basically, I could have music on, I could hear the television, no problem while using this machine. But of course, we've got the least amount of suction now. But for surface dirt, for that quick clean up, setting one might be all you need, really. But first impressions, I mean, I don't, I wouldn't say this is worth 300 pounds, this vacuum cleaner. The original price it's certainly worth 95.99 or 96.99 whatever i paid for it sub 100 pound vacuum cleaner i think i've got a bargain here right before i go let's uh pop the old turbo brush on we'll see the noise it makes normally you have to put the turbo nozzle on and use full suction of a vacuum so i will turn the power up to full. So you can now hear the sound of suction. I've had more powerful vacuums than that, but they've been a lot more energy guzzling. So here's the air powered turbo, turbo brush, which clips on the front. So obviously all the work AEG have done making the vacuum itself quiet doesn't, <laughs> doesn't apply to this nozzle. In my experience, air powered turbine, turbine brushes do always add to the noise level of a vacuum. They need to work on that, I think, because in many British homes that have short pile carpets, an air powered nozzle is often sufficient to deal with pet hair but they do make, make the cleaners noisier. Just make, you know, make them. Manufacturers make them so they're quieter, please. That's what I'd like to see. But anyway, all in all, first impressions, pretty good. I'll put, put some dirt down just on the carpet just to give a brief demo of this, but I will be taking it through my home, doing a proper demo. I'll show you the performance for cleaning edges. I'll show you the hard floor pickup We'll try it on pet hairs using this nozzle and also, of course, the pet turbo brush. We'll see how effective it is or easy to use on stairs, etc, etc. There's a little parking slot at the side as well as on the back. So if you need to pause your vacuuming, you can leave it like that. So you're not having to lift the nozzle like I'm not sort of having to do. Most people do that, you know, if they have to answer the door and then you have to bend down, uh, pick it up. But with this, 
It's a pretty standard feature, a parking slot on most cylinder vacuums have that feature. I'll put down some dirt, we'll have a quick go. But uh, all in all, if you can pick this up, if you want a very, very quiet vacuum and you can get this for less than 100, my initial reaction would be, yes, go for it. Okay, folks, just to finish this video off, I've just put down some rolled oats, rice and tea leaves, just to give you a rough idea of how this AG will cope. And I'm going to use it on the maximum suction level. So I can, it's not often I can actually talk to you while I'm doing the demonstration. So let's go through the middle. You can hear all the dirt going up the pipe. In fact, that's noisier than the motor. Pull back. I can see it lifting up the carpet, so you know, it has got some oomph about it. Now it's not perfect. It's a pretty clean sweep but um, I'll zoom in a bit for you. Well, that's about the end of my unboxing and initial first look at the AEG VX8 X Silence bagged vacuum cleaner. If you have any questions about this machine, I'll try and answer them in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more videos to come, including a full demonstration of this model. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.